Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade. Today we're going to be taking a look at a long trade here on the NASDAQ. 4202 is the first target, second target, and probably going to be the final target based on the way that today is kind of working out. It's going to be at 4206. Uh, now we're in long eight contracts at 419875. We're playing around to that 4200 level, so we do have to be a little bit careful. And that's why we're not looking for a big runner. A lot of times that those big century marks like that, 4200, that type of thing, you'll see prices get really stuck around that level and it'll just kind of play back and forth and back and forth and, and just generally have a hard time really getting anywhere. Uh, so we got that first target filled already nice and fast. Because we know that that 4200 level is smack in the way, we can go to break even, but it's really kind of advisable to be a little bit careful, right? We don't want to give all of our profit back, right? That first target came off at three and a quarter points. Our stop right now is down at two and three quarter points. So even if you go to break even, you still work out just fine. And even if you leave your stop where it is, you still make money on the trade. So it's a nice place to be right now until we see a little bit of extra conviction, right? This is this is the location and this is the area that we're expecting to see the buyers and sellers really duke it out, right? You're, you're just seeing them punch each other in the face a bunch of times. It's just a matter of giving them the room so they can fall over and let the other one take its place. Right here, expected to see some profit taking off a of 4203 half. That's a swing high. Uh, we're taking profit here a little bit ahead of it. So, you know, everyone's kind of in the same boat here. Just need to see them continue back up to the upside. Now, again, you could lock your stop in at break even. I would really recommend if you did want to move your stop up, stay at least under the cloud, right? Stay at least under the cloud. Uh, right now, stop's at 4196 half. I'm okay with the stop there. Not a big deal. We'll give it the room it needs to get moving. If we can get that second target filled at 4206, we're looking at seven and a quarter quarter points uh, to kind of follow it up. So we took two off, I'm sorry, four off at three and a quarter, four off more if we can get them filled at seven and a quarter. Uh, definitely a nice place to be uh, in, in overall profitability, right? So uh, if you're not familiar with the NASDAQ, it ticks much like the S&P, exactly, honestly, exactly like the S&P, it ticks in quarters. So because it ticks in quarters, every point in this case is four ticks. So that first target, four off at three and a quarter, that's 13 points or 52 ticks. Right. The other one is 29 points or 116 ticks. So you get how it kind of comes together. Right. So overall, 116 and 52 ticks, it's 168 total ticks at five dollars a tick. It's eight hundred and forty dollars possible on the trade. So we're just kind of sitting here waiting for it to go. Right. We started off with a nice big bang and now we're kind of slowing down a little bit. So we'll give it a little bit of time here. Our stops at break even if this candle turns up like that. Now that we have that turn up, we can see them still respecting that cloud. Now you can go to break even and just ride underneath that. So now we're in a purely profitable position and we're not willing to give anything back anymore. Yeah, look at that. Just bang right through the highs there and we got that target filled. So second target filled right away. I mean, fast snap movement. But that was that conviction that we needed to see. Right. We need to see the buyers come in and really hold those highs. This initial push, that's not good enough. We need to see them actually prove it. And that little pullback, turn right back around, that's them proving it. Now you can move your stop to break even, lock in a little extra profit, and not a, more than a couple seconds later, it slaps right into your profit target. So overall, that's the setup that we were looking for. The day in itself, relatively range-bound, right? If we zoom out and we fix this so it doesn't look ridiculous, there we go. You can zoom out a little bit, you can see we're just in a big old range, right? We started the day with a big smash higher. And since then, we just can't get away from anything inside here. And that's kind of the reason why you've got to be a little bit more conservative on those final targets. You're not looking for a massive runner target because you're probably not going to get it. You're much better off just taking the targets where you can get them. And in this case, that happens to be 168 ticks, $840 in the bank. So if you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. It's over to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. And as always, we'll catch you next time.